Hi everybody, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Sorry about the light, I actually have an LED bank set up over top of this, but you can't see the display. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty cold in here. This is my basement. We have yet to uh, insulate, and so it's 14.6 degrees. Now this is a thermometer slash relay module, so you can uh, program the relay to turn on at, at a certain uh, temperature and off at a certain temperature. You can use cooling mode and heating mode. Uh, cooling mode means that the relay will turn on when the temperature gets too high. Uh, heating mode uh, is will turn the relay on, relay on when it gets too cold. And you set the temperatures, you set the hysteresis, um, and you can also set the offset temperature. So if you find that this temperature is uh, matched up against a very extremely accurate uh, thermometer and you find that there's a couple degrees difference you can offset the uh, you can offset the temperature so what I'll do is I'll show off the the five different programmable uh, aspects of this uh, just in just a minute first of all I'll show you you can press the leftmost button and that will be your reference temperature meaning if I'm in <coughs> excuse me if, sorry, if you, if you uh, wait too long, it goes back to the current temperature. Right now, the reference temperature is 25 degrees. And that means that if I'm in uh, <clears throat> heating mode, that the relay will turn on if the temperature goes off below 25 degrees. And in uh, heating mode, uh, if the... Uh, Sorry, I think I got it mixed up. I always get it mixed up. In, in heating mode, if the, if the temperature goes below 25 degrees, the relay will turn on. In cooling mode, if the temperature goes above 25 degrees, uh, the relay will turn on. Now, of course, hysteresis comes into play, uh, and that will that will uh, I'll talk about that more in a second. And so, first of all, let me show you the uh, programmable aspects of this. First of all, I can change the reference temperature by pressing the leftmost button, and decrementing by pressing the rightmost button or incrementing using the leftmost button or the middle button sorry and then if you just let it go or press the leftmost button again it'll bring you back to the current temperature so we'll leave it at 25 degrees now if you hold down the leftmost button for five seconds sorry uh, I let go too early <clears throat> it'll bring us into the, the programmable mode so there's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 0, we're going to talk about P0 first. Now if you wait too long, it's going to go back into the current temperature. So I'm going to keep pressing buttons and we're going to go to P0 and press the leftmost button again to select it. Cooling mode or heating mode? Cooling mode or heating mode? You can choose it by pressing either button. So if we want to press, let, let's go for cooling mode. And we will press the leftmost button and wait for us to go back to the current temperature. So we select cooling mode. We don't know what our hysteresis is yet. And again, you're thinking, if, if you don't know electronics, and you're thinking, what's hysteresis? I'll tell you in a minute. So since we're in cooling mode, um, the relay is going to turn on when we uh, when the, the temperature reaches 25 degrees. Uh, now, it will, it will turn off when it comes back to a certain temperature, and that's the hysteresis that we have to set. So I'm actually going to uh, press the leftmost button again and I'm going to hold it. It's going to make sense in a second, I promise. P1. One degree. I'm going to set it to two two degrees. And press back. So our height is two degrees. Now what does that mean? Let me hold, this is the actual thermometer here. So let me just put it on my fingers. We'll warm things up. Or we'll simulate. Wait for 25 degrees. Relays on. Remember we set that for 2 degrees? That's our hysteresis. So it'll be an offset of uh, <clears throat> of 25 degrees. And uh, as you'll see in a minute, it won't the relay won't turn on at 25 degrees, turn off at 25 degrees. It's actually going to turn it's going to turn off at 23 degrees. Our, that hysteresis value is uh, 2 degrees. So 25 minus 2 is 23 degrees. Meaning when this, when the readout goes back to 23 degrees, and when it becomes 23 degrees in the room, what will happen is the relay will turn off. Now, alternately, if I change it to heating mode, which I will do in a second. 
there we go. If I change it to heating mode and I uh, set the normal temperature, or, or the reference temperature, 25 degrees, have an, uh, a hysteresis value of 2, uh, the relay will turn on when the room temperature is below 25 degrees and it will turn off when you bring it up past 27 degrees. So let's actually do that. I'll press the leftmost button again. Again, our reference temperature that we can change is to 25 degrees. P0. I'll press the leftmost button again. Cooling mode, heating mode. Leftmost button. We'll just wait to go back to the, cur the current temperature. So we've set hysteresis. Hysteresis is still a value of 2. So the relay should turn on. There we go. And so what I'll do is I'll, I'll simulate warming it up again and the relay will turn off 25 degrees or sorry 27 degrees that's our hysteresis now it will it will turn off when it goes back below 25 degrees so it gets a bit complicated but it's uh, it's it's very accurate now again you can change the reference temperature at any time and you can so it's very uh, it's very convenient. When that goes back below 25 degrees, we've set a reference temperature to 25 degrees. Our hysteresis is at 27 degrees, so once it goes past 27, relay turns on. When it comes back down past 25 degrees, relay turns on again. So in case you're turning on a fan, cooling mode, or sorry, heating mode. Anyway, so let me uh, ch show you the other aspects of this neat little module. Now, one thing, if my video is not explaining this well enough for you, I will be writing up uh, a quick manual in the listing, so don't worry too much. Uh, leftmost button will bring us back to the program modes. Let's go to P2. This is our minimum setting. As you can see, I cannot exceed 50. So this is our minimum operating setting. You can, uh, and so you can set, so uh, let's set it at negative this is our negative operating setting, meaning we won't, won't operate at, volt, at temperatures less than negative 20 in this case. So, press back, we go to P3. 110 being our absolute highest temperature that this will operate at. Obviously, things will start to melt if you're any higher than that. So, let's say our, our highest operating uh, temperature is 80 degrees. So, negative 20, 80 degrees. So that's all the P2 and P3 does. Uh, and P4, sorry, <clears throat> P4. This is our uh, offset, meaning if our temperature is referenced against a against a very uh, accurate thermometer, what I can do is to say it's for say that this display says for. I'm I keep moving it around because I don't want for it to go back to our normal time. But let's say that our, thermo our our digital display says 14 degrees, and we find that it is actually 16 degrees. We would set our offset to 2 degrees. 14 plus 2 is 16 degrees. Now, if our th or if our very accurate thermometer said 16 degrees and our readout said 18 degrees, um, well, again, we would say I got lost there. Two degrees. Uh, if our Thermometer said, yeah, if our thermometer said, sorry, 16 degrees, and our digital thermometer here said 18, we would set it to minus 2 because 18 minus 16, uh, sorry, 18 minus 2 is 16. Oh, I'm, I'm falling all over the place here. One more solid example. Your very accurate thermometer says it is 17 degrees. The readout on this says it's 10 degrees. So 17 on the accurate thermometer minus... 7 is 10 degrees. Now you can't go any lower than 7 and you can't go any higher than positive 7. So you've got uh, you've got the opportunity to offset the, the temperature by plus 7 degrees and minus 7 degrees. Anyway, so just to see that in action, we'll leave it at 0. We will wait for our, th our thermometer to come back up, or our temperature to come back up. 14.9 degrees, so roughly 15 degrees. So I want to set that to 18 degrees. So I'm going to set the P4 to plus 3. And we'll just wait for this to go back. It should say around 18 degrees. Yeah, so 
that the two degrees is obviously just the the point two degree in temperature temperature change. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, because it is pretty cold in here and it's cooling back down. Uh, okay, so let's go on to the next function. Now, one thing to keep in mind is your settings are saved into EEPROM memory. As you can see, 17 to 0.6 degrees. Based on the offset, the offset is still there. So, um, if you fiddle with it, you're going to have, and you don't remember, you're going to have to, uh, you're going to have to use a real thermometer to bring it back to the accurate uh, value because, again, it's being saved in the EEPROM memory. Anyway, back to it. I should mention that this is in degrees Celsius, not Fahrenheit. I'll hold the left button down again. We'll go to P5, left button. This is our delay time in minutes. So you can set it from zero to seven minutes. So we'll set it to one minute. Now we'll unplug it. And the relay will not turn on. Uh, it will give it one minute to warm up. And after that one minute, what will happen is uh, it will determine whether you're in cooling mode or, or heating mode and what your hysteresis is. And if the relay is determined, it, 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 and every, if, if everything's setting, if the, if the settings are all, all, all matched up and it was is within the temperature range, the relay will turn on where it will not. This, you can change this to one from one to, to zero to seven minutes to give it basically a warm-up time in case you don't want your relay to start uh, start up as soon as you power it on. So sorry for stumbling through that. I hope that most of that made sense. Read the listing. If it wasn't, I realized that that I, I, I stuttered a lot. Hopefully you were able to make sense of most of it. And there there's a minute, and because of the mode RIN, uh, um, the relay turned on. And so, again, if I warm it up, I forget what mode we're in in all of our offsets and our hysteresis, but 27, and again, it will turn off, I believe, after it goes down to 25 degrees. And we will wait for that, just to prove I'm not full of it. Uh, I've got a lot of videos to do tonight, I wanted to get this one out of the way, uh, because it's going to require a bit of a manual as it is. But uh, thank you for your patience, and uh, I sincerely hope that you uh, more or less enjoyed the video. Check us out at engineeringshock.com and electroniclessons.com. We've got tons of DIY electronic kits. I'm actually moving towards paintball DIY electronic kits uh, in the near future. Yeah, I'm designing a few custom clock kits. Lots of stuff going on. Ah, and there's a delay time of one minute again. Sorry, I forgot to mention that in addition to the heist races, when you have this set, it's got a... Uh, it's got a short delay. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone.